What? We got him, didn't we? What we have is an empty shell with no answers. If you had followed orders and done what you're told, we'd know more. Come on, cut him some slack. At least he was trying to... Not that I disagree. Damien Wayne, everybody's favorite Robin, and the cause of an entire generation's amnesia for Tim Drake. <laughs> I think the first time it really came to me that he was here to stay was when he started appearing in the DC animated movie universe. Because cartoons and movies is often where people learn about new status quos. What the hell? But Damien actually had a pretty cool and clean eight film arc here. It's pretty solid. In Son of Batman, Tali had roofied Batman for a sexy night of Wii Sports, so the reveal of Damien blows his mind. You expect me to believe this? By the way, watching this movie, I kind of miss Jason O'Mara's Batman. He's no Kevin Conroy or Bruce Greenwood when it comes to emotional depth, but there's something so chill about him. Mm. This Batman has seen it all, has his entire life sorted out, so he just kind of looks at everything very mildly. He doesn't have an existential crisis with his biological son, he just sort of accepts him and calmly, awkwardly lives with him. You didn't know about me. No. Damien sees Bruce as the road ahead for him, while Bruce sees Damien as the boy he actively wasn't, because Damien assumes his lack of childhood friendships is a marker and evidence for his worthiness and dedication for being like his father. But Bruce actually holds the opposite view. First time I climbed, I fell, broke my wrist. I made it to the top anyway. It was expected. I was Ra's al Ghul's grandson. Was it all like that, Damien? I was being groomed to lead humanity, like my grandfather. We were going to create a whole new world. By killing? If that's what it took. How do you hope to lead humanity? when you've never been a part of it. And that's a big paradox inside Damien. He's an entitled brat who was raised to inherit a legacy he was indoctrinated to believe was great. Raish was a madman. He was a hero. But that legacy is a prison that's robbed him of his freedoms. As a result, this father and son is totally out of sync and requires fracturing who they are for them to begin to include each other in their lives. Bruce begins to learn that his dismissive behavior has made it so then all that he's done now is transfer his rage and hatred into this child. Damien, forgive me. Well, the first stage of Damien's transformation comes in the form of his relationship with Dick. Because who doesn't need a good dick? I sure. Bruce is missing, so the son Damien has a dick measuring contest with is forced to become Batman. At first, Damien is unimpressed. However, he also smugly lets them become a team so he can lead. There's a very subtle moment where Damien wants to believe Dick always wanted to just replace Bruce, but that's the opposite of everything he ever wanted. I've struggled for years to get out of Bruce's shadow, to build a life for myself as far away from his world as possible. And the last thing I want is to be wearing this damn thing. There's a loneliness to being Batman's son because Bruce masks all of his pain on every level. Bruce Wayne is as much a mask as Batman. And I think the only thing behind those masks is pain, a pain he refuses to share with anyone. So what was it like? Lonely. And this loneliness is something which Damien also feels. But where Damien assumes this is what makes his father great, Dick's path in life shows an alternative, and it manifests itself in Justice League vs Teen Titans. By the way, Batman Bad Blood is a f hysterical movie in the way that Batman's entire rogues just get massacred. Like, what the f At first, Damien is very dismissive towards the other Titans, because just the sight of them makes him feel insecure. They remind him that despite his training, discipline, and name, he's still ultimately a little kid who's not ready. And the most terrifying thing is that, because of their shared age, they read him like a book. No. More like sad. Raven especially can sense his sadness. Her own father is literally a demon who tempts her with a game of greatness. Just like Damien with Raish. We were going to rule it together. I know all about that game too. And it's for this reflection that Damien gets the gumption to change. Did he just say he's sorry? There's a throwaway moment that I think is quite important in encapsulating everything, which is where Raven and Damien laugh at each other at the fair, and that kind of symbolizes what their connection is all about. They are mirrors for each other, and that connection is what allows for them to find joy in what they see. But I'll tell you something about yourself that not even you know. You may be insufferable, but in your heart, you are a kind and generous soul. And isn't it just cute watching small children fall in love? 
I don't feel creepy at all. Damien learns to have faith in people because the rest of the Titans are just like him. People powerless to their situations and enjoy the taste of pure sugar. That tastes like pure sugar. And thus, a debt of gratitude is what awakens inside Damien and forces him to develop an appreciation and understanding of his own life. You dare disobey me? Have you forgotten your heritage? You are an Al Ghul! No. I'm a tight. During Judas' contract, Damien is just sort of there and he gets bamboozled by Deathstroke and is trapped for the majority of it. But it's also what makes his appearance kind of interesting. From a reluctant member, he's now so deeply embedded into the team that he's a functioning team player who's protective of everyone. Deathstroke, when he's not busy being a pedophile, his main means of tormenting this small child is to try and ruin his family. You took my old family, Damien. So I'll take your new one. There's also a moment where Damien almost breaks through to terror by sharing his own experiences with being manipulated by an older man. Believe me, I know. But then everyone dies anyways in the end, because in Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, which is still the greatest fucking movie title ever, the Titans are all slaughtered by para dooms, and Damien goes home to his grandfather's army to be their leader. How? However, the Titan inside him is still very much there. When Dick died, he couldn't let him go, so he resurrected him with the Lazarus Pit, which is just... He was my brother. Really? Then what am I to you? An unavoidable irritation. I had to take a chance. Then Damien reluctantly joins Superman's new suicide mission to help blow up Apocalypse with the hopes that he could save his father. <laughs> For all intents and purposes, and in the best way possible, Damien is effectively a totally different character now. All the entitlement, all the anger he had, the way that he was proud of being lonely, his rivalry with Dick, and the inability to speak outside of the language of being a brat, has been replaced by a boy who asked a girl he loved to stay with him. I wasn't doing it because you're a good fighter. I... I had feelings for you. And Bruce reveals, much like Grandpa Simpson, You were an accident! <gasps> And your burden once and for all. And he gets smacked around by his dad. But Bruce realizes, of course, that he's now in the same position Joe Chill was. But this time, not only is killing everything against what he believes in, but killing this boy would be worse than what Chill ever did. So he gloriously frees himself. Go to hell. And Damien dies to save his father. No! Damien's last words are ones of absolute love and gratefulness. If he stayed with his mom, he would have been alone, abused and discarded. But now he's happy he was given a better life and taught something greater. I know I wasn't the ideal son. <laughs> what are you doing? Reviewing my birthright. This will be mine someday. But you took me in and welcomed me. You taught me a better way. We don't kill. I was trying to destroy your enemy. That makes you like them. Yeah! Oh! You've never felt vengeful? Every day. You have to keep your center, Damien. You can't fight crime by becoming a criminal. And I thank you for that, son. Well, do it! I rose from nothing while you had everything handed to you. You cost me my rightful place. No. I'm my father's son, too. What about me? Am I flawed, too? Remove all memories of this incident. And then make the other necessary adjustments. You have to have a little faith sometimes. Faith is belief based on an absence of data. It invites disaster. I don't need some insipid costume and a bird name. I will come back for him. Make him great. Adjustments? You're of no use to me like this. Recalcitrant. Emotional. How is it I ever loved either of you? Your father's influence, no doubt. When I asked you to join me in leading the League of Assassins, I had feelings for you. Remember, father? It's me! It's your son! Justice, not vengeance. <laughs> Save them. Save her. Damien, I wasn't interrogating. Just taking an interest. Oh. I go on patrol. I was lucky. Now you'll be four times as lucky. If we can't save one of our own, who can we save? By the way, I should offer congratulations on your cohabitation, Grayson. Starfire has proven herself to be a decent leader. Damien, I love you. This entitled little brat who argued about everything was in fact 
listening this whole time, absorbing and deep down inside, grateful of all the people he was gifted with. So Damien, trading his own life for someone else, didn't require any extra thoughts. He was always going to do it. Raven then resurrects him and before they're consumed by the light of another reset, they kiss. There's been no Damien or Raven in the Tomorrowverse and chances are if they appear I doubt their romance or age would even be the same there but I think that makes this moment all the more precious. This really is goodbye. So this was the Damien Wayne video. Uh, hilariously enough, I had completely done the voiceover for the Assault on Arkham video, and then I just ended up ditching that and completely writing this Damien video from scratch, voicing it and editing it all in a single day, just because I just found this way more interesting. <laughs> I meant in training, of course. He's very proficient when we have- Corey! <laughs> and my dad thinks I'm difficult.